I've been noticing lately when I come out to open the chicken coop, it's still dark and when I walk through the grass with my flashlight, I'll notice these little glistens of light on the grass blades. And I know that's just where the light from my flashlight is reflecting off of the dew in the grass. But then I began to notice that some of them were a different color and they persisted even after my flashlight had moved well past them. I'm not going to lie, it was kind of freaking me out. So I started trying to figure out what these little gems of light were. And what I found was kind of neat. This is one of several different creatures that we know as a glowworm. Now this specific glowworm is actually the larva of a firefly. And I think you can kind of see the similarities between that little greenish light that a firefly makes in the air and the one that this little dude makes on his butt. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd never even considered the thought of baby fireflies before. And the fact that there are so many of them out here. I mean, in our pasture, I'll bet you there are thousands. Walking along the little trail to the chicken coop, at any moment I can look around and there will be eight or ten shining up from the ground. And as some of those fade out, new ones will fade in. I'm kind of amazed that I'd never seen them before. And as I started looking into their habits and their diet, they're really interesting creatures. Depending on the species, some adult fireflies never even eat. They pretty much have one job, that's to reproduce, and they're going to die shortly after. In some other firefly species, the adults eat other fireflies. I read that they will attract other species of fireflies by mimicking their light patterns. And when they lure them in, they'll devour them. Now, other species will feed off of nectar and pollen when they're adults. But regardless, the larval stage, the ones that we're looking at right now, everything that I read made them out to be these just voracious predators that search through the night looking for slugs and snails and worms, injecting them with these toxins and then ripping them into pieces. But I've been searching for almost a week now, just about every night. And I've found dozens and dozens of specimen out here crawling around, but I have yet to find one that's eating. In fact, I've even attempted to feed them. I've brought some slugs out here and put them right there in the trail. And they've crawled on top of the slug a couple of times. Didn't attempt to eat it but I am bound and determined to get a shot of one of these guys eating. I did find a video that showed a firefly larva eating a snail. It crawled right into the shell with it and apparently injected its toxin and then began to devour it, just kind of ripping pieces off of it. But those uh, looked to be a different species of firefly. The larva appeared to be quite a bit bigger than the ones that I'm finding around here. And I also ran across a cool journal written by a guy that was interested in fireflies and he raised a whole bunch of them for, of different species from egg all the way up through adulthood and in his notes he talked about how there one species in particular seemed to prefer snails as their diet but another species preferred worms and he detailed how they would chop the worm into three pieces and devour the middle section while the two end pieces were still alive. And he hypothesized that they were doing that so that he could keep the two end pieces alive longer. Much like their adult form, these larvae are mostly nocturnal creatures. During the day you'll find them. I found a few actually while I've been digging in the garden. I never knew what they were. But occasionally you'll turn over a rock or push some old leaves out of the way or pull up a little bit of grass and you may find one of these guys that's where they hide during the day and then at night they come out they lurk around on the ground I don't know exactly what they do really I assume they search for prey but man I've handed them slugs on a silver platter they haven't eaten them Apparently, firefly larvae will overwinter on the ground. Um, they'll burrow down into the dirt a little bit, and that's where they will go into the pupa stage. And then when they break out as an adult, they'll dig themselves out and fly away. 
I can't guarantee that these things don't bite, so I'm not gonna recommend that you go out and try to catch them, but I've been handling them quite a bit over the past few days, and I have not been bitten yet. If you were to be bitten, I don't know what would happen. Um, they do apparently have some type of a toxin that will, um, I guess, paralyze slugs and snails and worms and things of that nature. I don't know what it would do to, uh, to you or me. If we turn this guy over, huh, that's interesting. I guess they're able to excrete some type of deterrent. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that is. It doesn't have a particular smell. Maybe the flavor is off. I'm not going to taste it though. But if you don't know what you're looking at, man, these things are terrifying. Just look at all those armored plates. How they taper to a point on either side. And then those spines on the retractable head. First of all, I don't know if those spines are what they use to administer their venom. I tried looking it up, but there wasn't a lot of information there. And then I think it's really cool that they do have that extendable, retractable head that they can poke out pretty far, actually, or they can pull it up completely under their armor. Their jaws don't look all that powerful, though, and for them to be such ferocious predators, you would think they would have bigger mandibles than that. But I don't know, I have yet to see them eating anything. But I've been out here for a while, so I think I'm ready to call it a night. And I'm also ready to get this video finished and posted. I've spent the past week and a half, almost every night out here, looking for one of these firefly larvae to be eating. So I think I'm just going to call it a wrap, but I'm going to keep my eye out. I'm still going to try to get my shot. As a matter of fact, I think I might build myself a little terrarium. I have a fish aquarium that we haven't been using. So I may turn that into a little terrarium and make a nice habitat where I can catch a bunch of these larvae and keep them in there and give them food and that way I'll, I'll have a controlled environment where I can keep an eye on them. And if I get the footage that I'm looking for I'll be sure to share it with you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that fun youtube -y stuff because we would love to see you back again next time for more daily sustainable living.